Hello guys, this is Jeppe Argenziano from Naples, Italy, and this is the second video concerning Imikimod and uh, melanoma. And especially I would like to underline this video, what we currently do for, uh, uh, for Lendigo Maligna once we have the lesion removed. Once we uh, remove the lesion surgically, the primary lesion. Um, so the, 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 the point is that uh, 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 we know very well that um, lentigo maligna is the most uh, frequently recurring uh, um, primary melanoma locally. I mean, you know, Be why? Because um, uh, 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 because lentigo maligna is located on the face where. Actually, it's not easy uh, to uh, to do a, a large surgery. Uh, secondly, uh, in my view, uh, uh, like it happens for uh, squamous cell carcinoma, also for lentigo maligna, there is a kind of field cancerization, meaning that the uh, uh, the, the lesion is spreading much uh, much larger than what is clinically evident. Okay, so for example, here we have a lesion, a lentigo maligna melanoma, which is large like this clinically, but in my view, uh, at least the lesion is uh, is going one centimeter uh, away from uh, uh, from the clinical margins from the visible clinical margins okay so it means that it's not easy to remove and completely this lesion and that's why uh, the uh, lentigo maligna is the most uh, frequently recurring uh, lesion locally okay so in uh, what we do it's very simple yeah it's basically this so we remove the lesion uh, surgically um, this was uh, by the way a 2.8 uh, ulcerated uh, lentigo maligna melanoma uh, which was recurring after uh, a surgery performed five years uh, earlier so we removed the lesion uh, uh, entirely. In this case, we did first uh, a partial biopsy in order to uh, to understand what, uh, the thickness of the lesion. So we tried to remove completely the lesion. We don't. We didn't uh, uh, exaggerate. So we uh, we just removed what it was uh, clinically evident, and then we performed uh, imiki mode. Huh? We applied Imikimod for uh, for six weeks, huh? every day for six weeks. Of course, we need to get a result, a, a, a reaction like this one. Huh? So we need to get a strong reaction locally huh? uh, in order to to have the to have Imikimod. Uh, uh, working locally and then th this is the result at the end okay so of course in uh, in an adjuvant setting um, in Mickey mode it's uh, there is a reason there is a uh, there is a rationale you know because uh, a few cells which are which could eventually remain after uh, the uh, after surgery of the primary lesion can be um, uh, treated uh, can be removed can be cancelled by the use of a Mickey mod in an adjuvant setting okay so this is the reason why we do it of course for the moment we don't still we still don't know if this uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, adjuvant treatment with the Mickey mod is helping us to avoid re uh, local recurrence of melanoma because of course we started uh, just a one year ago and uh, we still have to wait uh, three four five years in order to understand how many of these lesions are uh, actually recurring and how many are uh, uh, safely treated uh, until now we treated about 20 patients in this way and we are waiting for a, a, a reasonably long follow-up to understand if this is really working in the clinical setting and with this i tell you goodbye bye bye